Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mass making sessions. We are up to, and I'm just going to double check because I actually now can't remember. We are up to week number 185. Oh my goodness, we are flying through these. So yep, we are rerunning, re for those who don't watch my channel, we are rerunning previous weeks. So we are rerunning week 85, so week number 185. Um, and what are we making today? We are making cluster bases, okay? So we're not kind of putting the whole clusters together, we're just making bases ready for clusters. So this is a fantastic scrap buster. So you'll be able to bring all your scrap pieces of paper along and really kind of like hopefully, you know, really work through your scraps and things. Um, yeah, to just create some lovely um, bases ready for making clusters. Now, obviously I did recently do my video with the um, cluster book which I'm still absolutely loving. So if you wanted to do your cluster bases in the cluster book, instead of naked here, you know, loose, that we're going to be doing them, you could do that. Um, I will I will try and remember to add a hashtag for the cluster book. I'm not sure whether I actually um, will remember to do that. It's got to be said. Right, let me just pull in, because I loved the cluster book so much that I actually have made or, you know, yeah, ready, prepared, a few other cluster books ready. So I'm going to pull one in. Oops, they're just here to the side of me. I'm pulling one in. So I'm going to demonstrate, obviously, using the cluster book and using the, you know, the naked clusters. And then you can decide, obviously, which way you would prefer to do them. Now, for those people who did not see my original video, um, again, if you type in shabby dabby doodah cluster book in youtube search it hopefully should come up and then you will see it but basically we were just utilizing 12 by 12 papers that have been hanging around for a long time that maybe we don't like or you know we're not going to use anyway um and we were putting all of our clusters down into that book okay so all of the details are given obviously in that video so that's my cluster book and then obviously these are my scraps what else are you going to need so you're going to need some glue i always use anita's tacky glue this is a sugar bell icing bottle so i have transferred my anita's tacky glue into the sugar bell icing bottle um don't have to but sometimes it just comes out easier from these bottles than this one um so that's the glue that i'm using now i have brought along my scissors I probably won't really be using my scissors because we're just making well I mean I will use them at the end when we decorate one or two but for the cluster bases themselves I like them torn again that's just personal preference I like the torn edges you know you go with kind of the style that you like best um, with your scraps you could also incorporate some um, book page I've got here some vintage book page I've got a couple of other you know vintage book pages slightly different here so you can you can incorporate those in with your clusters as well um and that's literally all you're going to need and obviously you know the usual format is we make some cluster or we make the item you know a, a ton of them or you know as many as we can do in about 45 minutes and then the last 15 minutes of the video is where we will decorate one or two up okay so let's get um making you know that's all there kind of is to this so i'm just going to take literally some of my scraps so i've got here this is from my french collection papers i'm just going to tear this portion down here now these french collection papers they're brilliant for having um you know little portions that you can then cut out and use on different bits so i know this sounds like mega hoardy but yeah i'm going to just keep this portion so embarrassed just in case we want to use that somewhere else so I'm going to use this and then I'm going to just layer it either on top of or something else on top of this. You know, it doesn't matter which. Um, and then these are some new papers which I've been working on and hopefully they will be in my shop soon. I'm just kind of, yeah, working up to get in time to actually list them. I've been working on quite a few new um, digis and things. So yeah, hopefully they're going to all be listed soon. But I know I've said this before, it takes a long time for the actual listing process because you have to convert them into the for format. You sometimes have to compress them, you know, create your thumbnails, create the listings. It takes quite a long time. So that's why, you know, sometimes I kind of mention that, you know, I've got things, but I just haven't had time to list them. It's not quite as straightforward as just, you know, you chuck them on. So all I'm doing is literally gluing my base down on, uh, 
yeah, my kind of second layer onto the base layer. Now, again, if you didn't want to use glue, I mean, you could use um, staples or anything. You could stitch these, you know, however you like. I'm just going to be using glue. So that's all there is to this. So again, just going to take another portion of this like that. Oops. Okay. And, you know, I mean, like I say, I like the torn edges. You may prefer, you know, um, neater edges. It's completely and utterly up to you. So, yeah, let's just tear down some vintage brick page. And we should put that just on here with that plaster base. So, there we go. Okay, so that's all we're going to be doing is making a whole ton of cluster bases ready to make actual kind of completed clusters. So that's all we're doing there. I'm just going to kind of show you a couple obviously in the cluster book. Again, you know, I must re-emphasize, I'm sure that lots of you saw the original cluster book video. So I do apologize if this is really boring for you guys, um, you know, doing it again. But I'm just giving the, the option that if you prefer to be doing your pieces inside your cluster book, then you could, of course, do that. And, you know, it's the same concept, basically. You know, just some you're going to have as floating, kind of floating around clusters, and some you will have as, um, you know, contained in your cluster book. So completely, you know, completely up to you. So, and this just is going to require one more layer of glue. Of course, you know, you don't have to then put a third layer on. Um, I have done for the purposes of the cluster book, but to be honest, what you could do is just glue this uh, this layer down, and this would be like your base. I'm going to put another layer on, um, you know, for these, just because, yeah, I think that looks quite nice, but you don't have to. You could just put the one layer, and then, of course, you know, your actual piece of paper would be your, your base layer. Okay, so, you know, again, like with all these things, just anything goes, and mix it up and do, you know, do what you fancy doing. Um, and what works best for you. So, you know, the difference being, so again, just just going over things for those people who've not seen the original cluster book. You know, if you're thinking, well, why are we doing these and why are we doing this? The only difference basically in what you're doing is these are going to be loose clusters that you're going to have to store somehow. I tend to store my clusters like in a container, just chuck them all in a container when they're finished. Um, obviously my bases I keep in a separate container and then I can, you know, top them up or decorate them. The cluster book obviously gives you the advantage of all of your clusters will then be stored neatly inside your cluster book. Um, and I did mention this, I think last week, but I saw a fantastic, um, extra step on, um, Tanya from Tattoo Treasures. Um, she made one of these and what she actually did was cut this into sections to make it slightly easier for getting your clusters out. So she just cut hers down like this. And then this is going to make it even easier still when it comes to using them. I've got to be honest, it was a couple of weeks since I saw her video and I can't now remember whether she actually did this all the way through or just on the inside, if you see what I mean. I'm not going to do this on my outer cover because then I feel like, you know, it's going to collapse. It's going to kind of ruin the integrity of the book. But, you know, even if you did it on just some of the pages randomly, then, you know, I just thought that was a really fantastic, innovative, um, you know, step to do. Because obviously then it makes accessing your clusters even easier. So, again, just cut this down like this. And I'm actually doing kind of like two pages at a time. I mean, actually, I've done this into five, which probably they're very small clusters now. But, you know, that doesn't matter, to be honest. So I've got there multiple different pieces there. OK, so you can do them either inside your cluster book or you can do them as naked clusters. So completely and utterly up to you. So I'll, I might do some and some. So I might do a few naked clusters and then I might, um, you know, switch over to do some in the book. So obviously these are like the world's easiest thing that we are making. It, you know, doesn't get any easier than this. So, I mean, I don't honestly need to talk you through anything else. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, um, you know, what you would use these for, 
I will decorate a couple up at the end and then hopefully, you know, that will give you some ideas of kind of ways that you could use them or, you know, how you could decorate these. But for the time being, you know, we'll just literally get on now with decorating some up. So, and, you know, I mean, you can see this is very, very small. You know, it's kind of like come off very small. I'm still going to use it because, you know, when you come to actually decorate your clusters, it's still going to show up. It's it's all going to be fine. So we're just going to have like a whole random bunch here that we can we can pull in. And to be honest, if you wanted to assembly line style this, then I think probably the best thing to do is just lay out a bunch of bases. So I'm just going to move these to one side. Lay out a bunch of base pieces. And then do like your top layers on them, if you see what I mean. So we just put these down as, um, you know, uh, base, yeah, base layers. And then we'll go over with something on them. So I'm just going to, yes, yeah, sort of like a little factory of pieces here, like that, okay? Um, and, you know, I'm going to try my very hardest not to overthink this, but obviously I do struggle with that. Okay, so this one here, this is, I think this is Victorian vintage or vintage Victorian, um, that paper there. So, and I will try and remember to tell you what papers I'm using because I know that lots of you do ask and like to know what papers, um, you know, that we're using. So, yeah, I think this is Victorian vintage or vintage Victorian. I can't remember which way around that is. Um, but yeah, very pretty. And again, it's got lots of kind of, um, you know, words and things like that, that you could type, not type, tear, tear out separately and use kind of as separate bits. So yeah, it's quite a nice one. I think I might have that as my, my inner layer on that book page. Okay. Right. Let's get some other, some other base layer pieces down. So yeah. And then just let's relax, have a nice time and do some proper mass making. So yeah, I hope that everybody has had a good week um, since last week. What's the weather doing where you guys are? So yesterday, it was the weirdest day. I mean, I think it was kind of like, you know, they forecast rain. However, it was only forecast, I think, like up to 11 o'clock. And then after that, it was forecast, at, I don't know, 6 o'clock or something like that. So kind of not raining all day. And in between the rain... It really did look very spring-like. I don't know whether it was forecast to be very spring-like or whether it just looked very spring-like. But either way, it was absolutely gorgeous. So took the dog for a walk with my daughter um, and a friend. And yeah, we took the dog and then we decided that it was pretty warm. Oh no, I'm trying to think now the way around that we did it. Yeah. We took the dog for a walk and we walked to like a park where we thought we could grab a coffee. However, the coffee shop at that park, you know, was closed. So, I mean, it's only a very kind of like small coffee shop. It's kind of like a little family run type. Well, not family run, actually. I think it might be volunteers run type of coffee shop. So, yeah, we, we got there. It was closed. Um, so I said, well, why don't I walk down to um, Costa, which is about a 25 minute walk? Um, you know, and then you two could come down in the car so that we all come back in the car. So, yep, that's what we agreed to do because, you know, my daughter was saying, oh, I don't want to walk. My friend didn't really want to walk, you know. And then once we were there, of course, nobody would then want to walk back. So I said, well, let's let's do that so that Bo still gets her, you know, her good sort of long walk. So we did that. We got to Costa and, you know, it was really nice weather, like very spring-like, really lovely. So we sat outside, you know, they don't allow dogs into Costa, unfortunately, which I did not know that until we got our dog. I mean, I felt like I was always seeing dogs in Costa, you know, but I don't know whether I imagined it or whether <laughs> I never saw them. Um, or maybe they are guide dogs. I was going to say guard dogs. Maybe they're guard dogs. Who knows? Um, yeah, anyway, turns out dogs can't go into Costa. So, you know, but as it happens, it was gorgeous weather. So we just sat outside, you know, had our drink outside. It was lovely. So then we said, oh, well, let's drive up um, to Goodwood. Goodwood is where I was last weekend for the motor um, uh, thingamabob 
uh, members meeting. So it's very close to where I live. It's like five minutes drive. So, you know, it's it's easily kind of like just pop along to there. So we said, oh, let's, you know, let's pop along to Goodwood. So we did. Well, when we got there, it was still kind of nice weather. This also is another one that's coming, um, as is this. So, yeah, I've got loads of, loads of pretty digis that, you know, I've been working on and will be coming very, very soon. Um, so... Yeah, we, we got there, it was still lovely weather, you know, so we said, oh, let's walk up to, at the top, they've got um, this park called the Trundle. So we said, oh, let's walk up there. So we walked up there and it's literally like five minutes walk from the car, you know, from the car park. So not far at all, <laughs> but it's quite steep, you know. So the dog, she was absolutely loving it. She was off her lead. Oh, she was having a really, really lovely time. Anyway, looked up oh my goodness it was like the wizard of oz you know when it suddenly is like the blackest sky you've ever 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 seen it was like that so we were like oh it's looking a little bit on the black side but you know i thought well it doesn't look that black you know hopefully we'll be able to kind of like get around you know because it was quite a way away it looked like it was a fair distance away yet so I thought, well, hopefully we'll be able to kind of get a, around and then, you know, run back to the, or well, not run back to the car, but, you know, get back to the car before it starts. So my friend said, well, I'm going to go back to the car now. So fine. My daughter said she was going to come with me, you know, me and Bo and do the rest of the walk. So we did. Oh my goodness. I had obviously overestimated how far away, how far away it was. And I underestimated what it was because, yeah, I mean, it just looked like really black clouds. Oh, my Lord. It was massive hailstones. So not only did we get drenched, you know, because, of course, it was, you know, wet. Um, but my daughter, who, you know, for anyone who's got kids, you'll know what they're like. But, you know, you say things like, wear a coat. No, I'm fine. So, yeah, she wasn't wearing a coat. She was just wearing her leggings with, like, a little vest thing. Oh, of course, she didn't even have a cardigan on or anything. She didn't bring it with her because, you know, no, nope, she always she always knows best, you know. So, yep, yeah, she was there in her bare arms getting hailstoned on. So, yeah, she was obviously then grizzling and crying, you know, because in fairness, I mean, that must have hurt, mustn't it? So, yeah, she was then like, I can't even feel my arms. Oh, my arms hurt so much, you know. And I mean, I know it probably wasn't the time to say, but, you know, I was thinking, obviously, well, that's why you should listen when people are saying, bring your cardigan, wear a coat, bring layers, you know. But no point telling her that, obviously, at that point, because it was not the time. <laughs> Let's just say it was not the time to rub her nose in it. But anyway, so, yeah, we got absolutely drenched. And I mean, literally, we must have been in that hailstones for like, I mean, not long, because like I say, it's, you know, it's pretty close to the car park. But in that matter of like, you know, let's say seven minutes, you know, we got drenched, absolutely drenched. Drenched, covered in mud, just awful, absolutely awful. So fortunately, we were in my car, not my friend's car, <laughs> because obviously the dog was then covered in mud. You know, and she obviously, she's not very good in the car. I think I've said this before. The only way that we can kind of like travel with her in the car, we've discovered, is for her to be, and I think I've probably told you this before, you know, what my daughter said to me. She said, oh, mom, I never thought we'd have a window dog. Yep, because she's one of them dogs that's hanging out of the window, which, oh my goodness, how cute does that look? So, yep, she's constantly hanging out the window. Well, of course, yesterday, not only was she obviously wet still from the hailstones you know but of course she couldn't hang out the window because she was covered in mud all over her paws and everything else so I was holding her you know in the blanket kind of trying to dry her off and saying please don't go you know get down from the window kind of thing so yeah trying to dry her off and things but anyway needless to say the car's in a filthy state now like yeah proper proper filthy but you know it was all in a good cause because of course we just love love Bo so much and oh my goodness how much of a great time did she have on the walk 
before it hailstoned. I mean, to be honest, you know, all credit to her, she was still having a lovely time even in the hailstones. It was mainly my daughter who was obviously taking the brunt of not enjoying it. Well, I mean, I got to be honest, I wasn't really enjoying it a lot either. But anyway, so that's why I asked, what's the weather doing where you guys are? Today, um, I walked my daughter to school and the weather was looking really, really gorgeous. You know, it wasn't very cold or anything. I have to say, since I've got back and I'm now filming, <coughs> filming, it's actually looking like it's deteriorating. I'm kind of looking out the window and it's looking, yeah, quite, quite overcast, cloudy. I don't know. I mean, I've heard that it's not going to be that great this week. So whether or not it's going to be raining within the next like half an hour, it may well be. But yeah, such a shame because it was so promising when I took my daughter to school. It was like, wow, lovely. Spring is here. In fact, you know, I walked past people saying, oh my goodness, isn't it lovely to see the sun shining? Oh, so much for that. Not shining now. Anyway, so yeah, that was kind of like mm, the weekend. So I said to, um, you know, my daughter, well, let's just get home. Come on, because I mean, of course, she was crying for quite a while, making a big fuss, you know. So I said to her, oh, let's get home and, um, you know, I run you a bath and I make you a hot chocolate and, you know, you can kind of get warm and cosy. So, yeah, that's what we did. She didn't want a hot chocolate when we got home, so it was just the bath. But anyway, she, you know, warmed up and uh, she had a lovely time in the bath. So I put some of those bath salts in there and stuff for her. I mean, weirdly, you don't seem to find that bubble bath very many places anymore. I don't know whether it's not the thing that people have anymore. But I've only really managed to get it a few times. And actually, when I have used it, Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't really tend to bath. I, I'm a shower person, but, and, and actually my daughter doesn't really either. She, you know, we all jump in the shower. My sons, my daughter, you know, we all are shower people. Um, but every now and then, you know, it's just nice to kind of get in the bath, isn't it? So every now and then I'll say to her, you know, or if we're out and she see bubble bath and she was, oh, mum, mum, come, you know, come get this. Um, but yeah, on that odd occasion when, you know, I have done her a bubble bath, Oh my goodness, you have to pour in practically the whole bottle to actually get some bubbles. I mean, I remember when we were kids having bubble baths all the time, you know, and it was normally that stuff called matey, which again, I don't know whether that's just something we have here in the UK or whether that's, you know, everywhere, but that was, that was the bubble bath that everybody had. And I mean, obviously I wasn't the person paying for it, so I doubt I was really paying a lot of attention to how much we were using. And maybe my mum would say, no, it was always like that. We always had to use practically the whole bottle. I don't know. But I mean, I feel like it was very bubbly, you know, and possibly not that much bubble bath went in because I felt like we'd have one bottle of matey that would last for ages. Again, maybe that's just because I wasn't the person having to go and do the shopping and replace it. Perhaps my mum was really like super on the ball and just you know, replaced it all the time. And so it felt like we always had some, I don't know. Um, yeah, she was a much more efficient mum than I was, obviously. But it was just weird because now, you know, you seem like you honestly, to get like a, you know, good volume of bubbles, you have to almost use like the whole bottle. I mean, it's, you know, it's not expensive. It's only like a pound. But having said that, I mean, if you were wanting to have bubble baths, you know, every day, then obviously that would seem mount up. Thankfully, like I say, you know, everyone actually in this house is um, shower, shower people. So there's none of that whole using a bottle of, um, you know, bubble bath every five minutes. But yeah, I mean, if you did want to be having bubble baths all the time, then I guess it would be quite pricey. So that's those. Um, I'm going to make some now in the cluster book just because I said that we would. So yeah, let's do that. So I might make some on these little sections that we've cut down. So I'm going to put them down like the normal pages. Like that. And we will just put them onto, onto there. So, okay. Yeah, so that was kind of an eventful yesterday. Um, again, I've always film these mass makings on a Monday ready to go up for you guys on the Tuesday so yeah that was kind of like yesterday on Saturday we just went to my mum's um you know visited with my mum there and my sister came with her little boy 
So, you know, I know I've said this tons of times, but yeah, uh, my sister's son and my daughter, I mean, they're only like a year apart in age. So, of course, you know, well, I was going to say, of course, they get on and have a lovely time. Let's be honest. A lot of the time they're not having a lovely time. They're fighting and arguing. Well, not fighting, but, you know, they're arguing, having not such a nice time. But when they do have a lovely time, then they do have a lovely time. But, yeah, it's a shame because they normally don't settle to having their lovely time until you know it's time to go and then it's like well didn't you just waste the time that we were here because if you'd have been not fighting and arguing you could have been having that lovely time the whole time we were here that's what kids are like isn't it they you know they don't utilize their time very well <laughs> so yeah that was on saturday um right i have super exciting news so I'm not going to tell you um, the actual news. I will come in the next few days, probably going to film it on Friday. So hopefully very soon after that. Um, but very exciting news. I'm really, really, really excited about it. And um, yeah, it's yeah, hopefully going to be kind of quite a game changer with regards to, you know, the running of my shop and the running of oh, everything. Hopefully going to, um, yeah, change things and help things be much better. So much better for me and much better, obviously, therefore, for you guys. Because, you know, as you guys know, I'm constantly oh, just running behind on emails and everything else. And I, I just can't seem to get on top of things. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'm going to do an update video at the end of the week that will go out either, you know, maybe at the weekend or maybe next week. Um, with some very exciting news that hopefully is going to, like I say, be a bit of a game changer for all of us. So, yeah, I'm very excited to kind of share that with you. Um, just having a think. So that also, these ones were also some papers that, you know, I've been working on and will be, will be coming soon on my Etsy. So, and I just want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to everybody who's been supportive of my, um, you know, my online shop. So obviously, I, you know, I'm talking here about my Etsy shop, which, you know, of course, has been running for, you know, quite a while now, um, a few years. But also my website, um, shabbydabbydoodah.co.uk, um, which, of course, is my, you know, much newer, um, well yeah my much newer shop um which is at the moment predominantly it's like physical items so it's a combination of lovely products which have kind of sourced um you know for you guys either products that i have used already which i have loved you know maybe some of them for like the longest time maybe some that i've only more recently found um or products that I love the look of and you know can't wait to use in the future so it's a combination of you know those two kind of things and also handmade items you know that I'm obviously selling so there are yeah a, a variety of things that I have put on there so far and I know I have mentioned this but you know at the moment that shop's only been running for like you know a very short time as I mean sometimes I have listed the odd thing on there but normally that's when I've um you know put something up that somebody's you know requested um but with regards to actually having an operational shop if you see what I mean I'm doing a bit of a trial and error I'm just you know getting a feel for what things are popular what do you guys like and you know I'm hoping, and I know I've said this before, I'm really hoping that there's going to be a fast turnover of products um, that are on there to keep it fresh and interesting, that, you know, keep people coming back to it, you know, time and time again. Um, obviously, you know, it's early days. So it may be that, you know, practicality-wise, perhaps that just won't pan out, you know, as I'm hoping. Um, but I really, yeah, really hope that it will. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has supported me so far by placing an order. Um, you know, it's oh so exciting, you know, from my kind of per, uh, perspective, you know, when you're, when you're launching something, you know, to feel supported and then to feel it's well received. I mean, there's no lovelier feeling in the world. So 
thank you so 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 much i really 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 appreciate you know everybody's support so yeah massive 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 thank you to people um so yeah any um orders and things you know hopefully lots of orders have already been received um, if not, obviously, you know, more recent orders, they will be going out um, today, in fact. So, yep, lots of, you know, lots of exciting things there. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a massive, massive thank you there. And like I say, I mean, obviously, my Etsy shop with all my digis and things, that's all still there. Um, and as I mentioned, you know, I have worked recently on a whole bunch of new digis. It's just a case of getting time to list them. So, that's going to have a lot of new products listed within the next, you know, week or so as well, hopefully. Um, you know, it just really is, like I said, a case of having time to actually put the things on there. Um, but yeah, very, very excited because lots of new things coming. Um, so I know that like on my, oops, I'm just going to put that around that, that way. Um, on my physical shop, the trim packs, I'm just going to quickly mention this, they are really, really proving popular. Um, so thank you so much. And I'm putting those in there as kind of fast as I can. I mean, obviously, I've got limited resources with regards to, you know, purchasing stock, let's be honest. Um, so purchasing stock. So it's a kind of like, uh, what's the word? Yeah, like... Um, Oh, what, what is the word I'm trying to find? Well, I can only purchase, you know, so many at a time. So that's the first thing to kind of note. Um, but additionally, obviously then, you know, packing things up, listing them, again, listing them, posting them and all of that kind of stuff. It all takes quite a long time. So, you know, I'm just kind of saying, if you are waiting for anything, you know, to go in there, I'm putting things in there all the time. Um, because like I said, I'm hoping it's going to be like really fresh, really interesting and lots of, um, you know, excitement kind of to go on there lots of times. Nobody wants to kind of keep going on there and it's the same old stuff. So it's, yeah, really my intention to kind of keep it very, um, you know, fresh products in there all the time. So yeah, thank you so much for, for checking it out. If you have, thank you so much to anyone who's placed an order and yeah, you know, and hopefully going forward, I know I talked about the postage costs and things like that. You know, again, this is early days. And so as I kind of, you know, get better and improve and things like that, I will be trying to source better posting methods, you know, to keep the costs lower and things like that. So, you know, yeah, hopefully it will always be an exciting place to, to visit and to, you know, to shop. So, yeah, thank you so, so much. Um, so that is that quick note. Um, and like I said, I mean, I'm just kind of trialing some products and things to see, you know, are these well received? Do people like this? Um, you know, and hopefully there's some exciting things. I mean, things that I haven't ever seen anybody else, you know, stock in their shops. So hopefully... You know, if you've been over there, you are kind of like thinking the same thing that, oh, these these are different things, you know, things that I have not seen anyone else carrying maybe in their shops. And, you know, I'm not saying they never have. I'm saying I haven't seen them. Um, oh, this one looks good on everything, doesn't it? So, yeah, hopefully kind of like quite an exciting, exciting place to visit. Um again I don't know whether I can manage to get it to notify people when I put new products in you know it's all a learning curve I'm learning very much you know how to <laughs> how to run the website you know definitely I mean I'm not um at the level where I've obviously fathomed out how to notify people and things like that you know so that will all come in time so you know bear with me if you're kind of thinking oh you know it's a bit of an amateurish site or you know not a great sort of um site shopping experience you know because obviously perhaps things are a bit basic i mean hopefully uh, all of those kinds of things are going to improve so yeah just kind of bear bear with me if that's okay okay Ooh, that one's quite nice on there actually or perhaps we'll do it with a green 
So I hope it's still in, in frame. Okay. There we go. Mm. Right, so let's just take that one down a bit. And as for TV, no, I've not watched anything exciting at all. I mean, oh my goodness, what a rubbish <laughs> dry spell I'm having on TV. I just, yeah, haven't watched anything worth reporting on for ages, absolutely ages. So, yeah, you know, if you have any recommendations, please, please share them. Because, wow, it's been pretty boring in my house for, you know, for TV. Um, I don't know what's going on. And weirdly enough, I was talking to my friend at the gym. And we were saying, you know, there's nothing on at the cinema either. And, you know, it's really frustrating because you go on, you know, every week when, like, the new films come out on the Friday and think, oh, hopefully they're going to have some good films this week. And they just are not getting the films coming through to the cinema. And, um, you know, we were saying, I mean, this is really weird because I then read something the other day or I maybe heard it. I can't remember. But, you know, and they were saying, oh, it's because all of the big names have turned to Netflix, you know, and other other channels like that. And do you know what? My friend and I were kind of then saying, well, actually, I'm not sure whether that's true, because to be perfectly honest, I mean, don't get me wrong. Netflix, of course, are, you know, like corner in the market, aren't they? And, you know, rightly so, because obviously they're providing a you know a really great source of entertainment aren't they aren't they with all the variety of things that they put on you know um and i i know nothing about netflix so if they are an awful company you know ethically or anything please don't um you know slate me because i know nothing about how they operate or anything um but they um you know yeah the i think the thought was you know oh well they're they're taking all the big names but like my friend and I said, well, actually, is that true? Because to be honest, I don't feel like I see films with like the big A-listers, you know, like, and I mean, I'm talking people like, you know, I don't know, Brad Pitt, you know, Julia Roberts. Um, oh, I don't know. Angelina Jolie, you know, all those kinds of people who've been like really big in our movies, you know, for quite a while now. I mean, I'm not really seeing them coming through on Netflix. So... We were kind of then just saying, well, actually, I wonder why there aren't any movies. It's kind of almost like since COVID, all of those massive celebrities, you know, the really big A-listers, have kind of gone, do you know what, actually, you know, I don't really need to work. So I'm just going to have a bit of time out. Hey, and who can blame them? I mean, wouldn't we all? I mean, to be fair, I'm not sure I would because I love crafting. But, you know, if you had the option and you kind of had, you know, millions in the bank, who knows, maybe you would think, oh, do you know what? I don't need to take every movie that comes my way. So maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. But, yeah, it was just interesting because when we were chatting, we were like, well, actually, now I think about it, those kind of A-list people, they're not really on Netflix either. So where are those A-listers going? Yeah. It's all a mystery. So, hey, if you know... What's going on with the film world? Oh, please share your thoughts. You know, or are we just missing? Are we just missing what's going on? Perhaps there are A-list type films coming out and we're just not aware of them. I don't know. But definitely I'm not feeling like I've seen really, you know, any kind of A-listers or anything in any films recently. So, yeah, let me know. What do you think? I'm just going to go over onto the brown page. Oops. thought I'd stuck that down, but I haven't. Um, onto the brown page here and just do the brown page. So, yeah, great addition, this one. Like, slicing the pages into sections. That definitely is a good... A good... Um, what's the word? Yeah, good addition, let's just call it. As I seem to have lost the ability to think of any other words. Um... Yeah, anyway, it's a shame because, you know, there's just some people who I absolutely love in movies. You know, Julia Roberts, I mean, she's like probably my favourite. I mean, oh my goodness, she's so brilliant, isn't she? And yeah, just so, so, so watchable. 
I mean, strangely, my mind's gone completely blank now. I can't really even think of anybody else, but... But that's, that's what I'm saying, is my mind's gone blank because I don't feel like I've really seen anyone, you know, of those big famous names for such a long time that I can't really even think who any of those names were. <laughs> it's very weird. I don't know where those people have gone, but they definitely are not appearing on my screen. That's for sure. Okay, I'm going to just quickly finish this page and then we'll probably, you know, call this part quits and we'll just decorate a couple up with our cluster bases and then, yeah, that will be kind of done then. So... Okay. Like so we've used a lot of um you know scraps up here which is fantastic you know it always feels so good doesn't it when you can manage to get through quite a bunch of scraps Maybe a bit of, oh, yeah, maybe a bit of William Morris. Oh, we've got a lot of blue on this page, haven't we? That wasn't intentional, but just kind of how it's gone, really. But, yeah, let's have a bit of blue. The blue and the brown, they just look really good together, don't they? Okay. Actually, I might just make this a small one to go inside something. we put it inside a blue or shall we put it inside something else? Did I do all the inners of these? Yeah, I did do all those. Okay. I mean, it's, yeah, slightly more, um, you know, fiddly to turn the pages when you've got them cut into sections, but I don't mind that. You know, it's still, it's still fine. You know, they're not like really hard to uh, turn the pages or anything. They're just a little bit more, you know, you've got to be a little bit more careful. down there okay just got a couple more here left to do so I'm just having a look through to see whether I've got anything in particular you know that's going to look really nice here <clears throat> I've got some more of my French collection papers here so yeah let's take this texty part Honestly, I can't wait for, um, you know, summer to arrive. I mean, it's just a really weird winter this year, or has been a really weird winter. You know, I was saying the other day kind of to my sister and just said, you know, it's been really weird. I mean, it's, you know, she said, oh, it's been really long, hasn't it? I don't know really what it is. It's been a really nothing winter. You know, like it's not been anything exciting. Um, I mean, I don't know what I mean by exciting when it comes to winter, but, you know, kind of like... Oh, should we have one of these? This is just from my curator's collection, the third curator's collection. These flowers, but they're lovely, aren't they? And perhaps we'll put that down there. Um, yeah, it's been a really nothing-y kind of winter in that... You know, we've not had snow. We're well, definitely not where I live anyway. I mean, maybe there has been snow somewhere, but yeah, not here, um, thankfully. But, you know, kind of just just nothing exciting, but just, oh, really long. And unfortunately, it's still really chilly, like I said. You know, every time I think, oh, good, you know, it's finally improving. It's, it's not improving. It's like, no, it's not improved yet. And, um, yeah, that's a bit how it was you know like even yesterday like I said we went out and then you know hailstone in five minutes later so it's just dragging on now dragging on endlessly and who wants that so yeah this is more of my damask um papers I wonder if we want those anywhere I mean weirdly clusters are one of those things that even if pieces don't look as though they'd match 
kind of do match. They're like a bit of a magic quality to a cluster in that you can get away with things, you know, that you wouldn't expect to get away with. Okay, right, I've got that one. Now I'm thinking to manage to get away with this one, I think we need to ink it because it's quite bright, isn't it? So yeah, let's just ink that up and then it will look a lot better. That was all it needed, wasn't it? Just a bit of ink on there. Right, there we go. And then we'll just use uh, this little bit here. Right, again, just going to ink this one, actually. Put that on there, I think. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, um, didn't put anything on this yet, so let me just see if I've got anything that would look good on there. <sighs> Oh, come on. No, I can't really see anything at the moment, which is a bit annoying. I mean, unless I just use a little bit of book page, to be honest. This book page is always, always good, you know. Kind of goes with most things, doesn't it? Book page. Yeah, I mean, I've put in my shop um, this morning, actually, a couple of... Uh, what I'm calling like ring bound covers, ring bound journal covers. Um, just basically decorated covers ready for what I'm saying a ring bound journal. Of course, you could always, you know, form a spine, make a spine and use them as, you know, conventional kind of, um, you know, stitched in journal. Um, that wasn't kind of what I had in mind when I made them but that doesn't mean you can't use them for that if you you know if that makes sense so yeah I've put a couple of those in my shop and um what you get it's basically a front and a back cover that then of course you can then you know use for like I said in my mind a ring bound journal but obviously in reality any you know any journal that you fancied um so yeah hopefully again you know they're kind of really really nice I mean they do look very pretty and yeah I mean hopefully they'll be kind of like fun to use so I think I've put um four all together so again obviously I don't know whether they are sold yet or not but and that's where I'm going to be listing journals now um I do have a quick note to say about journals I'm not going to be doing a waiting list anymore um, just due to the fact it's very, very difficult to keep on top of, to be honest. Uh, you know, I find that, yeah, trying to message people when you've got something ready to list and, you know, often then people don't bother replying or, you know, I mean, maybe they can't reply, maybe they're not well, maybe they're, you know, busy, whatever. Um, you know, and that's absolutely fine. Um, but it's, it makes it very kind of difficult for then, you know, just listing things. So, there's that there's obviously you know sometimes and fair enough you know I mean obviously people don't have to buy every journal that you offer them but it just makes it difficult because then if then people say oh well that's not the journal I'd like you know that's not the one oh but I'd still like to stay on the waiting list it just makes it quite a protracted process when you then come to you know sell a journal so yeah I've got a couple of people left on the waiting list um so, yeah, I'm going to probably contact the people that I haven't contacted so far um, and just see if they would like, you know, the next couple of journals that I'm going to be listing. And then after that, there will be no more. Or, well, from this point, there will be no more waiting list. You know, it will be a kind of first come, first served and the journals will be listed on my web website shop. So shabbydabbydoo.co.uk. Um, because I just think that will be a better way to actually, you know, manage it. So, yeah, I really apologise for any disappointment to people, but it's just, it's not worked out, unfortunately. You know, and all these things, you, you don't know until you try them, do you? And then it's like, oh, mm, that's not really kind of feasible to do that anymore. So, yeah, we're going to have to kind of um, stop that, I'm afraid. 
Right, okay. So I've got some bits here. These are from my um, Belgian Blue. And what I've done, you'd ordinarily get, this is a full page, but I have printed obviously two, two to a page. Um, and then I've also got some bits from my Great Expectations kit. These are perfect for clusters. And again, this is a full page, but I've printed two to a page um, because that then makes them obviously perfect, you know, sizes really for clusters. So, I mean, one or two are maybe still slightly big actually, but yeah, on the whole, I think they're quite, quite good sizes for clusters. So I'm just going to cut out a couple of these and then we can just, you know, decorate up a couple. Okay. Oh, I'm so chilly. The sun's gone in, like I say, it's gone all overcast. And to be honest, I mean, my house was never very warm this morning anyway, but it's getting colder and colder. It's sat here freezing now. So, yep, I'm gonna have to go and put another layer on in a minute. So, uh, yes, not, not very good. Right, there we go. So, let's see, I mean, do you see what I mean with clusters? That's not at all what I would put, you know, what I would have thought to put on that. But even there, doesn't that just look gorgeous? I think clusters are definitely just one of those things that, you know, wherever you put things, they look awesome. They're a bit like the butterflies, aren't they? You know, or the bows or the labels, you know, wherever you put them, they, they look good. And, you know, I mean, obviously some do look better than others, but on the whole, they all look, they all look good, don't they? So, yeah, love how that looks. I mean, I do actually really like that on there. Really like it. I'm just going to just check because I would have probably expected to have, you know, more of a bluey brown. That's got slight tinges of pink in there. So we could have her, or she may be a little bit too matchy-matchy, to be honest. Yeah, maybe she's blending in too much, although that one's pretty nice on there. I'm just going to ink these up as well, so they look quite white to that background so there we go okay oh they are so nice on there aren't they right okay let me get some lace because i always love using lace obviously on things right got some lace and i've got some flower trim and things and i've also got mm -hmm. some bling okay right Got a few different things here to use. I just want to quickly say, look at this trim. Isn't this gorgeous? So this I will also be listing in my shop, um, you know, hopefully in the next few days. I hadn't ever seen this in purple. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely love it. Really, really, really scrumptious. So yeah, anyway, I've gone off at a tangent again. See, I just get so distracted when there's lovely, pretty things around, you know, I do just find that very distracting. Like, oh, hard to stay focused, really, but okay. So, I'm just going to put her on there now. I'm going to use my hot glue gun for her. I think that lace is upside down. Yep, just put her down there with the hot glue. And that hot glue, and I say it all the time, that just then clamps the lace in place like that. Okay, so then I'm just going to take, I think keeping it colourless. I've got these resin, well they're not resin, sorry, acrylic um, daisies and again they're in the trim packs. Um, just going to then pop that down on there. Okay. Oh doesn't that look gorgeous? So look how quickly and easily your um, clusters can come together. Once you've got a few bases made you know, actually then assembling your clusters is going to take you two seconds. So put that to one side. Let's do something with this one. So <clears throat> I'll just have a look and see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that rich colour there of the back. You know, the base layer. It's yummy, isn't it? And like I said, this back is from the Victorian, vintage Victorian. This is a new digi which is coming very very soon which oh my goodness doesn't it look gorgeous yeah 
love that uh do we want do we want the ivory lace that we used just now oh my goodness yes i think we do <laughs> oh i just love the look of some of these bits honestly you know just yeah as soon as you kind of put things down it's like wow i'm loving how that looks so oops to keep some of that script shown really because it looks really pretty so i'm just kind of moving that off to the side and then just going to put the hot glue but not quite to that edge because i think that edge will be hanging off into nowhere if you see what i mean so like that so hopefully we haven't got like too much glue just stuck over there oh my goodness doesn't that look gorgeous absolutely gorgeous now i've also got this rosy trim which again this is in the trim packs i'm loving this rosy trim so much it's honestly this is my favorite stuff to use at the moment i mean i always love my bling as you know um so we'll just quickly try some because now i'm like oh why am i now you know not favoring my lovely bling that you know i've always loved I feel a bit like i'm being a traitor but yeah, I'm just loving these roses so much. Oh my goodness, could we have a bit of rose and a bit of diamond trim? I'm gonna lift this up in a minute for you to see because um, I feel like maybe you can't really see it properly. It looks like it's miles away from the camera. Oh, and I just, it's so pretty. I'd like you to see it kind of really close. Oh my goodness, that is yummy, yummy, yummy and gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that just so lovely? <gasps> I love it. Absolutely love, love, love. Right. Oh my goodness, I'm up to like 56 minutes and something. So let's see if we can just literally throw one more together. So I'm just going to put that to one side. I can't stop looking at it. It's very mesmerising. Yeah, very mesmerising that one. Oh, should we just go for this one? Mm, yeah, let's just quickly do this one. So again, just going to ink around there. Oops. Yeah, quite like that. And then now I had some blue lace and I can't now see it anywhere. Oh. I mean, to be honest, it's not any wonder. My desk is just absolutely horrendous. Complete and utter carnage. It's just awful. Awful. Carnage. I'm not sure if that's the right word actually. Maybe I mean chaos. Anyway, one or the other. It's it's there, it's that. Not not a good state is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Oh, I will just try that rosy trim. I don't mind it. Um let me just try, let me just try a bit of bling. I feel like perhaps this looks better, you know, with something more colourless. I don't know whether that's too much. Maybe I just need like a little row of three. So hang on. Okay. Right. Yeah, maybe kind of like colourless is the way to go for this one. Sorry if you can hear the dog sort of groaning. She does that, obviously, when I'm disturbing her, you know, with my <laughs> my chat. She's like, oh, be quiet. I'm trying to sleep. She has her little bed in here. Mm, yeah, she's obviously trying to sleep. I'm just interrupting her. Right, so that is our finished clusters. We also did the one that's in the cluster book, which there it is. Oh, my goodness, gorgeous. So aren't they just yummy, yummy, yummy? And we've made a ton of bases. I'm not going to count them all, um, but yeah, we've made lots of bases. So, you know, I would just keep obviously all of these in a tub somewhere, um, you know, and then I'll be able to obviously make them up. And then obviously these ones, they're all contained in the cluster book anyway. So um, yeah, I hope you like them. I hope you have fun if you are making some cluster bases and things. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. 
I... I'm so sorry about that. At the very last minute, my phone suddenly just ran out of storage and luckily I just spotted it. So yeah, I'm so sorry. I do apologise. Um, yes, so I hope that you like the clusters and everything. And um, yeah, I hope you have fun if you decide to make some. And thank you so much for watching. And yep, have a great day, everybody. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.